Today we're going to talk about graphing a piecewise function on my open math, and it isn't completely intuitive as to the order that you're supposed to do that. So I want to step through it with you to save you that frustration of getting it wrong when you're doing the homework. So say we have this problem, negative 1.5x minus 6 when x is less than or equal to negative 4, then it's 4 when x is greater than negative 4 and less than or equal to 2, and then it's negative 0.5 of x plus 5 if x is greater than 2. So I can see it has three pieces, so it's called piecewise, but we want to talk about, well, how would we graph these pieces? Let's start with the easiest piece. Let's start with the 4 when x is greater than negative 4 and less than or equal to 2. So that's just going to be this nice little horizontal line. It's going to start at negative 4 and it's going to stop at 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this line segment because I know it has a start and a stop. And I'm going to go over to negative 4, positive 4. So negative 4, positive 4, and I put a start. And then I'm going to stop that over at 2. Now, we're not really dealing with the open and close yet. We'll do that at the end. I'm just going to do the three pieces first, and then we'll come back and deal with if there's an open or closed dot we need to put in. All right, so let's go to the next piece, and we'll look at negative 1.5x minus 6 when x is less than or equal to negative 4. We'll start by just putting in the negative 4. So I have negative 1.5 of negative 4 minus 6. Negative 1.5 times negative 4 is a positive 6. Minus 6 gives me 0. So this says I have the point negative 4, 0. What I also want to do is pick a second point that's in this piece of the graph. So what I'm going to pick is something less than negative 4. I'm going to pick it even to keep it easy. So let's say I do negative 1.5 times negative 6 minus 6. Negative 1.5 times negative 6 is positive 9, minus 6 gives me 3. So my second point I have is negative 6, positive 3. So I'm going to have a line segment. It's going to start at negative 4, 0, and it's going to go through negative 6, 3. So I'm picking this tool this time because I have a start to my line segment, but then it's going to keep going in a direction, so I don't want to have an ending spot. So I'm going over to negative 4, 0. That's where I want it to begin. And then remember, we said it goes through negative 6, positive 3. So negative 6, and then up 1, 2, 3. What I can see right now is these two parts of the function don't touch. So when I'm looking at negative 1.5x minus 6, when x is less than or equal to negative 4, the less than or equal to says I should have a closed dot at the end of this piece. So I'm going to go over to the closed dot, and I'm going to put that at negative 4, 0. Then the second part, where it said f of x is 4, if x is greater than negative 4, says it doesn't include this 4, so I'm going to pick an open circle and go up to this piece and put an open circle. After we fill in the rest of the graph on the right side, we'll deal with what happens at the point 2, 4. For the last part of the graph, we have negative 0.5x plus 5, where x is greater than 2. So we're going to start by putting in 2. Now, 2 is not actually on this line, but numbers close to 2 will be. And the numbers close to 2, I mean, are like 2.1, 2.01. So anything bigger than 2, just not equal to 2, will be on this part of the graph, negative 0.5x plus 5. So we're going to do negative 0.5 times 2 plus 5. Negative 0.5 times 2 is just a negative 1, plus 5 gives us a positive 4. So this tells me I have the 0.24. After that, I need a second point to draw this little section of the graph. So let's pick 4. I have negative 0.5 times 4 plus 5. Negative 0.5 times 4 is a negative 2 plus 5 gives me a positive 3. So my point is for 3. So let's finish up by putting on this part. It starts at 2, 4 and goes through 4, 3. So I'm picking this part again that has a start, and then it keeps going. So I start at 2, 4, and we can see the graph is already there, so we're just going to connect to that. And then we want to go over to 4, 3. So here I am at 4, and then I have to go down to get to 3. All right, so I'm going to click off just to show you we've done that. Now this time, because things touch, I don't have to go back and put the solid line. I don't have to worry about an open line because things are touching. Going through the point 3 is fine as well. So now we're ready. So what I want you to see with this, when you're doing a piecewise function, the open closed, that has to go when the graph doesn't touch. So parts where it's touching, you can leave that alone, but parts where it's disconnected, pay close attention to which part is closed and which part is open. They cannot both be closed. If they were both closed, it would fail the vertical line test. So you know that at least one of them will always be open. Let's hit submit. 
so we can see we got it right.